Who am I? This is a classic question that gets asked in spiritual teachings from the likes of Fred Davis, who I've recently discovered, who is a non-duality teacher, or Byron Katie, who asks via the work, who would you be without the story? And even Three Principles teachers, like Garrett Kramer, are encouraging people to ask that question of themselves. Who am I? Well, my name's Steve M. Nash. That's who I think I am. And I run smnash.com and selfhelpcollective.com and other websites. And I am interested in this question because I'm starting to see that I have a lot of thoughts about who I am, what I like, what I don't like, what my capabilities are, what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are. I have a lot of thoughts about who I am. Other people have a lot of thoughts about who I am too. Sometimes they're good thoughts, sometimes they're not good thoughts. But I'm really seeing that who I am, who I think I am, it's just a collection of thoughts I happen to believe. So I've decided to explore these, this theme of who, who am I in a series of videos. Look, I've got a bag full of this 33 um, examples of things I believe about myself. And I'm, my intention is to randomly pick something from this bag and then speak about it in a 10 minute video say. And I'm just I'm curious to see what I discover about what I think who I think I am. Because I know some of the thoughts that I have about myself that I believe are kind of holding me back. Or I'm not I'm not showing up as much as I possibly could, or I'm not allowing life to drive me, to guide me, to steer me. I'm getting involved too much and trying to control the outcome of my life. And even though it kind of feels like it's a good idea to do that, I, I, deep down I know that the less I get involved and the more that life comes through me, the better for me, for people around me. Maybe even for you, as an example to be guided by. Hmm, who am I? So, I'm not going to do one of those videos now, but I'm just going to, I'm just curious, some of the things that I'll be talking about. 24. I don't seem to like it when people do it better than me. <laughs> so that's comparing yourself to others. Five, I don't like being misunderstood. Thirteen, I don't like doing things I don't want to do. I'm out of comfort zone, go against myself, difficult things, not listen to myself. And the last one, nineteen, I don't tell people what I think sometimes. They might get angry. I might be wrong. Now, this is not really an exercise in self-help or personal development. It's not about positive thinking. I'm not doing it for that reason. I'm just kind of curious who I think I am. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I'm not my body. I'm not my age. I'm not my gender. I'm not my political beliefs. You could carry on with inquiry. And it's quite a startling discovery that you'll come to if you keep going with that inquiry, as Fred Davis um, encourages you to do. Check him out on YouTube. He's a fascinating man. Although, if I'd have watched his videos a few years ago, I would have thought, what the heck are you talking about, man? What the heck are you talking about? I'm just Steve. Of course this is me. Of course, of course I know who I am. But now... I'm less certain. It's not an exercise in positive thinking, in 
um, changing your beliefs about yourself or anything like that. It's an exercise in seeing what else is possible. So, for example, I don't like being criticised. That's who I am. Or so it seems. And so, if you imagine if you don't like being criticised, then chances are you might share your offerings less. You might sing your song less. You might show up less. You might hide away more because then you get criticized less don't you it stands to reason i remember very early on um coming from a so-called broken home uh, my parents divorced when i was five and i never thought it had any impact on me but i remember being a teenager and i remember thinking i'm never getting divorced i just decided i was never going to get divorced and guess what one way of never getting divorced is to never get married. And I still never got married. Anyway, I'm digressing. I don't like being criticised. I've been told this many times. And the thing is, I think it's true. I don't like being criticised. Now... What I want to explore is, what would happen if I did like being criticised? If I encouraged it? If I could welcome it? If I could bring it on? So what, what would happen? And there's a possibility that I could like being criticised. Everything in this bag that I don't like, I could like. I could. And I want to explore that. I, that's all. I don't really want to start changing myself. I am who I am. I show up as I show up, as you do. And I can berate myself and criticise myself and wish I were different. I can do that as much as I want. But does it? will it make a difference? Probably not. I can notice myself, be kinder to what I notice. And I can also allow myself the, a possibility that I've never allowed myself before that I could welcome being criticised being wrong looking foolish not getting it not being understood etc 30, 33 items I'm not going to do 33 videos but I'm going to do some and I'm definitely going to do the one about being criticised because I'm fascinated by that because I know, I just know that if I could see for myself, not, not listen to somebody else tell me about it, but see for myself that I could like being criticised. I know, I guarantee that I would offer more, I would share more, I would speak up more. Not that what I've got to say matters more than what you have to say, what matters is that we all sing our songs. Even if we're off tune sometimes, even if we're, we're wrong, even if we're mistaken. This is how we find out, this is how we learn. When you're skiing, as I learned as a sort of 20-something, you learn to ski by falling over. You don't learn to ski by never falling. It's, it's just a natural way of learning. And I think, I think it's useful. I think it will be useful. For me, anyway. So, this is my introduction. Who am I? I've got 33 behaviours, personality traits that I'm going to talk about. And with a, with a curiosity. And I won't talk about all of them. But I'll talk about some of them. I'm curious to know what comes of it. And I'm curious to know what might resonate with you too when you're listening to these videos. Hmm. But in the meantime, ask yourself that question. Who am I? You know, imagine you're on a, you're going on a date and they, they they've got like this interview, a whole lot of interview questions. Tell them who you are. Write down ten things about who you are. 
and then look at that list and then really ask yourself is that really who you are can 10 things really define who you really are who am i who are you get curious because i'm going to get curious okay thanks for watching uh please tune in for the next video which will be coming soon and maybe i'm going to do these videos every day we'll see anyway thanks for watching this introduction video um yeah thank you goodbye